This is the rear wheel of a Stocka Trails, and today we're going to show you how to disassemble the central elements of the wheel in order to replace anything that might need replacing. This includes any of the locking mechanisms that are under the hubcap, uh, in particular the, locking the main locking mechanism which runs through the axle, so replacing the axle itself, as well as, of course, the ball bearings, which can go bad on all wheels. Uh, in order to disassemble this wheel, you're, ne you're going to need to put it face down so that you can remove these four screws from the back. Now this is a uh, 2018 model. On the older models, you would not have these screws and you would have to pry off the hubcap here in order to get it off and get at this inside stuff. But on the newer models, um, for uh, well, I think a year at least at this point, uh, you have these screws. If you have the older model rear wheel, we have another uh, video that shows you how to fix the rim on the rear wheel, and that will show you the process of removing uh, that uh, hubcap. Okay, once you've unscrewed those, you can then just take this piece off. Make sure you save everything. And as you can see, the button just pops right off. Okay. Uh, in order to further disassemble this, you will need a pair of needle nose pliers. There is a locking washer right here. And you just want to insert the tips of your needle nose pliers into the holes on that locking washer and separate them. There. When you pull it at the right point, you can press that axle through as you saw me do. Now you can pull out this entire assembly here. You have the axle and you have this piece on top. There is a second locking washer here if you need to replace the axle. I'm not going to do that, but you would just open that up and slide this through. You have to slide it this way because there is uh, a little bit of a lip here. Then you could replace the axle itself while retaining this plastic piece. Otherwise, you have the central element of the wheel here and uh, there are ball bearings on either side. Ball bearings can go bad over time. Uh, it's important to maintain them with uh, spray oils and so on, like WD-40, um, but even if you do that, just uh, the amount of um, rattling and so on and pressure that goes on to these ball bearings is quite extreme. So after a while, you might need to replace them if they get loose or they split apart. In order to take these out, you just pop your screwdriver in and pry it out like this. Functions the exact same on the other side, and then you can put new ball bearings in. Okay, in order to reassemble the wheel then, you are going to take this piece, slot it right back through, and then put this fiddly locking washer back in place. Those ball bearings need to be flush in with the wheel uh, at this point, because otherwise that groove in the axle which is right up against the ball bearing, won't be far enough out to access with the lock washer. Just separate it out and press it down until you hear it pop. And you can see those two tabs move in towards each other again. Okay, and we're just going to balance our button on. That button, of course, depresses the central releasing mechanism. And I'll just show you this real quick while I have it open. So when you push that in, it uh, allows these two balls to slide at one point, and that's how you uh, release the wheel from the stroller. So if you're having trouble locking your wheel in place or unlocking your wheel, it's very likely that the axle has become bent, and thus all of this internal spring-operated system that operates these balls has, um, is not aligned any longer such that the mechanism functions. That would be the reason for replacing the axle itself. Okay, after you put that in place, you'll notice that there's four notches here. They correspond with these white tags, and it all just lines up. Turn it upside down again. Then it's just a matter of, of course, putting these four screws back in place. In any case, that is how you disassemble the rear wheel of a Stocka Trails. We hope that this video was useful to you, and if it was, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.